it's always a pleasure having him in studio. We're talking about identity crisis. And identity crisis, but what exactly does that mean? And are you able to realize that you are in that particular situation? Hmm? Rain had a teller is in the building. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Mokana. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Asante sana. Naomba ni sabehe mshivua. It's okay, it's okay. Karibu sana. Asante sana, Mkeli. You've been great. I've been great. Keeping warm, it's been very, very cold. As usual. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Identity crisis. Yes. You and your conversation to nongea leo. I thank God you're here for that. Yes. Yes. We've, we've had people what we badilika. Yes. Alikuwa hivi, alikuwa hivi. Ama mm -hmm. you, you raise a child up to a certain stage and then you're hoping mm -hmm. that somehow they will discover or yes. embrace or become something different. But sure. that doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is identity crisis? Do we have it then lose it? Or we uh, don't even have it at all? I think what happens, uh, identity crisis basically is losing your own definition of self. Okay. So most people uh, get to a place where, you know, you grow up, you have a vision of yourself, of your future. Then in the course of life, you know, life happens. Yes. You end up losing that identity, losing that definition that once formed who you truly are and today as i was doing my research i had i got a quote from nelson mandela okay allow me read this please so nelson says that our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate okay our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure it is our light not our darkness that most frightens us oh. We ask ourselves, who am I to be that brilliant, to be that gorgeous, to be talented and fabulous? Mm -hmm. Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small doesn't serve the world. <laughs> there, there is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in us, but it's in everyone. And as we let our light shine with Kali, we consciously give other people permission to do the same. And as mm. we are liberated from our own fear, yes. our presence automatically liberates others. What I our learned fear. from that simple quote yes. is that what makes people shrink is so that they can fit in. Yeah. You know, we live in a world where people don't feel comfortable. Actually, they call it arrogance when you know yourself, when you speak out confidently, know your worth. when you know your worth, they start saying you're bragging. Mm. Well, I want to make this statement today, this morning, and may this statement set your week. Humility is not timidity. Just say that again. Tim let, me, let me start it from the other way. Okay. Timidity is not humility. Ah. Shrinking that you may feel that the people around you feel comfortable mm. does not serve them right, neither does it serve you right. Yeah. You have to come to a place where you know yourself not based on the things that you own, not based on your salary. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, somebody said, and I love this, that if your life is defined by the things that you own, you have no identity at all. No, you don't. You must come to a place as an individual mm -hmm. where... You are Reynard without the suit, without the car, without the house. And if you define yourself based on that personal identity, mm -hmm. based on the fact that Reynard, and, and, and this is where the problem begins, Mikali. Mm -hmm. We don't know where we come from. Okay. You know, fish lives in the water. Yes. And if you take the fish outside water and put it in a golden bell, bed, mm -hmm. no matter how expensive that bed is, the fish will die. That's true. So the moment man comes out of the place of their truest identity, mm -hmm. man is not a physical being. Okay. Let's settle that. Man is a spirit being living in a body and having a soul. Ah. So if we understand that, we will be comfortable then we will know what our identity is. Exactly. So what are the things that, you've mentioned one of the things that would definitely make me lose my identity when yes. I'm shrinking myself, yes. not to look like I stand out, not to look like I, I know too much, not to look like I'm braggy. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the ways that probably I will lose my identity by yes. just, you know, deeming my light. Yes. What other ways do people lose their identity? Number two, uh, most often we find our identity based on the environment that we stick around. Okay. I usually say this, that you are the average of the first five people you spend most of your time with. If you spend your time with, the, with five poor people, you are the fifth. 
And the truth is that if you spend your time with five rich people, mm. you won't hang around the barber shop long enough and, and, and not have your hair cut. Mm. If you hang around foolish people, you are the fifth. You like it or not? <laughs> so the people you hang around with, I, I, you know, I love dogs a lot. Yes. But then I've realized something, that even if you hang around your dog so much, you mm -hmm. form an emotional attachment. Yes. And you'll realize that somebody's dog, if you look at them, they almost look alike. Are you serious? <laughs> Psychologically, they say <laughs> yeah. that we, we, are, we are a ring of energy. Okay. So when you spend energy, when, when we sit here long enough, if mm -hmm. we would be thrown into a desert, the, the two of us, even if we didn't have an emotional attachment, yes. we will form it. Okay. Because we have a ring of energy. So the people you spend most of your time with forms that strength of your ring. So you get attachment with them. Yeah. And that attachment forms your identity. So if you hang around people who have a sense of self low self-esteem, mm -hmm. you begin having that se low self-esteem. So you need to set an energy around yourself mm -hmm. that is strong based on the people you hang around with. The, the, number three, mm. which type of information do you expose yourself to? You know, I think we should just stop right there. Yes. What information are you exposed to? What are you letting in? Mm -hmm. We're going to pick up from that with Reinhard Atala after this very short commercial break. If you have any questions, triple one, triple four, triple one. That's our SMS line. Tri switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook, sending those questions. We'll be looking at them after this break. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. It's a Monday morning, chilly and all, but we're talking about identity crisis with, uh, with Reinhard Teller. And we're looking at some of the things that unafanya and una lose your identity. And uh, you've mentioned dimming your light or shrinking yourself. Number two is the people that you hang around with. Kama ni foolish people, we will number tano. If uh, they're rich, uh, what you are self-esteem, then you will get better. You were mentioning about, you were talking about the information that yes. you expose, expose yourself, yourself to. to. Yes. You know, somebody says that, uh, somebody said that you are the result of what you eat. Yeah. Both physically and what you eat psychologically. Mm -hmm. Which kind of books do you read? Which type of movies do you, do you watch? watch? Because these things forms us. Uh, human beings are beings that are formed and wired based on exposure. Mm -hmm. So if you expose yourself to information that is dimming, mm -hmm. expo uh, you expose yourself to information that pulls your energy down, yeah. you become that, and then you begin losing your identity. Have you noticed, and I'm about to say something that will throw me out of bad books with many mm, people. Okay. Nobody was born gay. Okay. Nobody was born gay. We got exposed to information that be began making us think, are we really who we are? Mm -hmm. And that self-doubt makes you start going in on a roller coaster. Or maybe I'm not supposed to be this, mm -hmm. this gender or that. And for many people, because of that, because of that lack of self-identity, you want to identify with something so that you can feel that ego. Because human beings are egoistic beings. Mm -hmm. you, every one of us have, a, have some sense of ego. And that ego has to be fed. Either you feed it, if you're a man, you'll feed, if you're a man who has no self-esteem, yeah. you'll feed it by having a lot of women around you. And the more women you have around you, the more mm -hmm. you feel like, you know, mimi ni ndume. But then, ni <laughs> So if you're a lady, you'll start thinking, what do I do so that I look good? Maybe if many men go after me, I will feel good. Why? Because we've exposed ourselves to the wrong information yes, sure. about us. Yeah. The fourth thing you have to, uh, you have to do in order to kill this so-called self-identity crisis mm -hmm. is don't, don't agree or don't identify yourself with other people's definition of you. Ah, don't consume that. Don't, don't consume that. Yeah. 
you know the greatest the greatest discovery is that we can alter our destiny by altering our attitude okay what people say about you don't matter what you say about yourself matters every morning you wake up when you look at yourself in the mirror what do you see mm -hmm. who do you see mm -hmm. because everybody will see you out of the mirror of who they are mm -hmm. so if somebody is struggling with something they will see it constantly in you and their definition of you will be based on and upon what they are suffering from so if you stop looking at yourself from who you truly are and I love this. If you've never understood this, if you've never believed this, allow me to introduce you to yourself. You're a child of God. Yes. Born, created, and made with potential. Mm -hmm. So understanding your full, you know, Mwikali, it's very easy to say you have potential. Yes. The hardest thing to do is to discover it. Somebody says there are two main, most important days of your life. Yes. The day you're born mm -hmm. and the day you discover why you're born. Yes. The discovery of why you're born will automatically introduce you to yourself. Mm -hmm. And that does not excuse challenges. No. It does not take away the things you're going to go through. Those things are meant to bring out the truest identity because inside every caterpillar yes. is a butterfly. That's beautiful. But most people spend their days as caterpillars because they are afraid of a process called metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. So unless you agree with yourself, you know, yes. it is a personal identity because I love the fact that this is called personal identity. It is, it is personal. not it is not collective it identity. It is not communal. It is not communal. It's not even in the family sector. Yes. It's just you. I, even if your father is Uhuru Kenyatta, yes. if you don't discover who you are, you will yes. die a, a, a beggar. Mm -hmm. So this is a personal thing and you have to come to a place of saying, okay, who am I? Mm -hmm. When the lights are off, when I'm in my bed, nobody's next to me. Who am mm -hmm. I? And once you answer that question, yes. the next question you must answer is, where did I come from? Because if you don't understand your root, yeah. you won't understand your future. Okay. Because if you take a bird and fish and you compare the two based on their ability to fly, the fish will live the rest of their life thinking that they are stupid. Yes. And that's why I fault our education system. Mm. It has brought everybody under one, one umbrella mm -hmm. and they say, these people must study chemistry. Yes. When I hated chemistry so much. <laughs> <laughs> and, be <laughs> <laughs> and because of that, yes. so many talented, great people will die miserable simply because education system introduced them to what they can't do yeah. and did not expose them to what they can do. Yeah. So the challenge goes back to you. Yeah. How are you going now to face the reality of yourself? The Bible says somewhere that looking us in a mirror, mm -hmm. we are transformed into the, into the perfect image of his son. Okay. Now, when you look inside the mirror, who do you see? That's a very important question. Who do you see every yeah. morning? Yeah. Because I, I, love, I love our girls, but I have a problem with you people. Allah. When, <laughs> when you go to the mirror <laughs> we to look at We were doing your... <laughs> so well until that point, but it's fine. Let's hear it. When you go to the mirror to look at yourself, yes. are you looking at yourself to praise the person you are or to see the weaknesses that you have? Oh my God, I think we always look like I, the, ba the, the, the second she chin yeah. needs to go. Yeah. Where are the cheeks? So What's wrong with this pimple? <laughs> uh, very small things. We should While look past that. Look past that. Look yes. at the person beyond the mirror. And this has to be very intentional. Very though, Harry. intentional. It's, not it's a personal decision. It does not come like this. Yes. But for anybody who's wondering, is, is it possible for me to notice that I'm going through an identity crisis? Yes. Like that. Am I able? And what does it really look like? Yes. You know, yes. I'm going through it. Well, the first answer you I'll, I'll give you is that don't look at it from Yule. Look mm. at it from Mimi. Mimi. Because you cannot define others, mm. but you can define yourself. yourself. So these are the three pointers that I use. Number one, you have low energy. Okay. So if you are suffering from identity crisis, there is a, you, you struggle waking up, you struggle taking care of yourself, you struggle in doing so many things. The cure for that is wake up and do something. Okay. 
Straight up. There's Straight no, up, there's no shortcut. <laughs> I, I won't tell you, you know, you have to go and get hands laid on you. No. It's a personal decision. Wake up and walk out. Simple. Number two, uh, you'll realize that when you're suffering from identity crisis, you tend to want to look like someone else. So you'll, you'll find that they will, these people suffering from identity crisis will not feel comfortable if they are not doing designer this, designer that. Not leaving the house without makeup. Yes, I can't leave the house without makeup. Without my wig on. I must put on my wig. Mm. And where is my wig bought from? You, you know, I'm not... Would that be a, a tied into social media as well? Because exactly. we're doing those things as well. Exactly. So people from all for, over. for the likes. Mm. So many people have had... The, I'm sorry to say this. You know, the people we admire... Mm -hmm. Actually, if we took away the likes, they would die. Uh -huh. I'm telling you the truth. Okay. There are some people we admire, and I'm not going to mention names, but there are people we admire based off of the fact that they can get every woman they're looking for. Yeah. Maybe because they have this celebrity st standing mm -hmm. that everybody is chasing them. But let me tell you the truth. The, great, the most depressed people are, in, are entertainers. That's true. You'll find them standing before a crowd of one million people making you dance and jump. But when they go back to their closets, they are so sunk. They are so depressed because so they sometimes they find their strength from the crowd. Yeah. But I want to ask you a very simple question. Can okay. you stand out of the crowd and still feel comfortable? The strongest man is the man who has agreed yeah. with himself that this is who I am. I may be having my deficiencies, yes. but I'm working towards bettering my standards. And once you begin living your life that way, you know, the universe will conspire mm -hmm. to ensure that you go towards your greater self. That's true. The last thing I, 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 I use as a pointer to know that somebody is suffering from identity crisis mm -hmm. is... How do you relate with the people around you? Okay. Now, how you relate to the people around you most often happens when you begin to look at yourself. The moment you begin loving yourself, uh, Jesus said that love your neighbor as, as you love yourself. yourself. Yeah. So self-love mm -hmm. translates to loving other people. Yep. You cannot love, uh, and, and this is why many relationships are failing. Okay. Because we have people who have never known how to love themselves wanting mm. to love another person. Okay. You, you can't give that which you don't you have. You can't give that which you don't have mm -hmm. out of the abundance of your heart. So many people are struggling in relationships because they have never thought of how to love themselves. Okay. And we live a life where we think that when I get into a relationship, I think I will love myself more. Yeah. No. No, hell no. Mm -mm. If you cannot love yourself where you are, yes. single. I usually have this statement I say, learn to, to be single in relationships. Yes. In other words, if you're a lady, don't leave off the, the compliments that your spouses give you. Of course, give them. Tell them how beautiful they look. But that should not be the center. The basis the of basis what you feel about yourself. That if it doesn't, if it doesn't complement how... I look, yeah. then I don't think I look good enough. Mm. The greatest strength is found from within. within. So if it doesn't come from within, out of you, then nobody can make you feel good. That's true. And nobody, again, can make you feel bad or intimidated without your permission. You let them. You let them. That's true. I don't know. I, you know, I have a problem with people who say, uh, so and so despises me or so so and so hates me let me tell you you attract what you are okay so if you hate yourself hatred will come to you mm -hmm. the, it's funny how you find somebody who does not have all the looks that people would say is a perfect look yes but because they have a deep sense of love for themselves yeah People look at them and see them as so beautiful. beautiful. You That's wonder true. how. Yeah. And so it's funny that the most handsome man <laughs> marries the <laughs> Allah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but I get what you mean. Yes. You will be seen as how you present yourself. How you and present if I yourself. allow you to make me feel bad about yes. myself, then I let you. Let me. It is, it is, it is you, by the way. I gave you a permission so, to do so that. So if, if you feel unloved, mm -hmm. check your love antennas. Okay. Maybe you are the one who doesn't love yourself. Love enough. Yes. You're projecting that You're to projecting other people. that fear. Yeah. If you feel always that you are, you, you're demeaned, you feel low, you feel that everybody hates you. Yes. Have you checked on your hate antenna? Mm. Maybe you attract hatred because you have hatred within. within you. Because you attract who you are from within. That's My true. kicker. Yeah. Begin developing a self-image. Begin working on yourself. Man, if you feel your body doesn't make you feel good, go to the gym. Work, work on it. Work on it. If you feel your, your pockets makes you feel intimidated, work harder. That's true. And please don't let that, the fact that you don't have money, now you feel that you ca you're not adequate. Don't let the things outside define your strength. Your definition must be from within yourself. Ah. And you just killed it like that. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look within you. You have greatness within you. I think that's the message today. And everything that you're looking for is not outside. Everything that you're looking for, everything that you need is within you. So if you take time to tap into that, focus on to, into that, then it will be able to project outward the things that you involve yourself in, the people that you associate with, and to definitely help you with that identity crisis situation, or not even getting there in the first place. Uh, Reina, thank you. Always lovely. Thank you so Having much. you on the show. Thank Social you. media handles to clear and a break. Rain Hadatella, Prince Rain Hadatella on uh, Instagram, at Adatella Ray on Twitter, and on Facebook, Honorable Rain Adatella. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a page that I, I run, Prince Rain Hadatella on Facebook. And for those who'd like to reach me for any of my books, I have five books, but today I just carried these two. Wake Up, Walk Out will help you know truly how to fire your boss and how to live a life of purpose. And Is God Broke will help you discover some hidden secrets on how to build your wealth, build your foundation. To get a copy of these books kindly, reach to me on 0729-931532. Let's keep it open. Absolutely. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Mukali.